I'm Robert Scoble. I'm the startup liaison officer for Rackspace, and we're in the Rackspace studio at TechCrunch Disrupt 2012, seeing a lot of cool startups. This next one is uh, personal, because it's uh, contextual. And I'm writing a book on context called The Age of Context with Shell Israel. And I'm seeing all sorts of new apps that are doing things way beyond what I've, I've seen. And it's, that's why I love coming to TechCrunch to see uh, the cool new stuff. This new company called Maluba has an app that really is pretty mind blowing. So we're going to find out what it does uh, right now. Who are you? I'm Adrian Petrescu. I do infrastructure at okay. Maluba. And I'm uh, Tarek Esma. I'm the UX lead at Maluba. Very cool. And what do you call this app? Because it's a you say it's a to do engine or something like that, but yeah. we, we call it a do engine. And okay. the analogy is with a search engine. So with a search engine, you get a list of you search something, you get a list of results. The do engine takes that one step further, and it can do things with the results because it understands them contextually. Yeah. They're not just links to it; they're entities that have their own logic. And that's really the key there. The culture around the Google search engine is all keyword. So if I search sushi, uh, Google has no idea what context you want sushi in. But the culture around our software is all about asking things naturally and then understanding it and then figuring out what you want. So if you say, what is sushi, we'll give you a definition. If you say, where can I get sushi, we'll give you a restaurant. Yeah. So it, it, it's a twofold thing. Not only do is it important that we understand the context, the culture around our software is about doing. So people will talk to us in a way that they know we'll understand them contextually. Yeah, and it's hard to explain because people don't have a context. <laughs> a lot of other companies you can say, well, it's sort of like Pinterest, and yeah. except it's for you know cookware or something. You know? right, right. It's sort of like the, Twitter, but it's sort of this. Right? Right. This, this is an engine you talk to with your phone, right? Yes. And right. it does stuff. Yes, um, exactly. So give me some use cases of why I would use this instead of going to Google or, or uh, asking my friends on Facebook to, you know, what to do. Yeah. Either one of you. Sure. So um, the, the biggest part for our software is not only do you get, uh, not only do you speak to it naturally, because we understand you contextually, we give you very specific results. So it removes the need to think about an interface that you have to use, things you have to change. So for example, with our software, you can say, uh, what romantic movies are playing on Tuesday in Toronto? So that would require filling in three different fields, right? Time, uh, location, type of movie. Well, you can ask all of those things naturally, like you would to a friend, and remove that type of thinking. As, as we grow to more users, we're going to get more smarter about what people want. And so it removes the need for the interface and gets right to those results. Yeah. You know, no sorting through, no trying to figure things out. And in addition to that, See, we, we really think, I, I hate to use the word search, but as you said, it's, it's what people understand the best. We think the future of, of mobile search is do, is this type of do engine. So for example, if you ask for those movie, movie results, from day one, we have a really incredible sharing feature. You can share things with friends by email, by text message, Twitter, Facebook. We have this nice landing page they go to, so you don't need to have our app in, in, in the beginning. In addition to that, you can add it to your calendar, and it pre-fills the time of the movie that you've chosen, the, the title, um, all those other con contextual information. So I'm going to ask some questions, because yeah. uh, I want to find out how deep into my life you're getting yeah. to learn my context. So, and I was playing with Siri last night just to see how bad it is, and it's pretty bad. <laughs> so if you ask Siri something like, um, you know, where should I eat lunch tomorrow? Well. Uh, there's a few yeah. contexts that we know as humans. Tomorrow I'm going to be at Facebook, so I'm going to be in San Mateo. And it should know that I have a, the right. afternoon free because yeah. I have a meeting at Facebook from 11 to 1, and then yeah. I don't have another meeting until 3. Right. So yeah. it knows that it can stick lunch in that spot, right? right. As humans, that's easy to figure out. Right? Yeah. Can your app figure that out as well? We're starting on that path. So We've just launched yesterday, so we don't have all of the data that we need to calibrate such a system, but we're starting to. So for example, we're, uh, we, we do sync your contacts. So we can answer things like my mother and my father and things like that. We are uh, very, very close to launching location-based reminders and things like that that know, uh, you know, when you say go to work, it'll know where your work is. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're heading towards a point, sort of like Google Now, right? Like one of Google Now's cool features is that it knows where your home is, even if you don't tell it, yeah, and it'll yeah. know where you're trying to get as soon as you get into your car. Yeah. So we're, we're working towards that. And, 
And we want to sort of get our brand out there first before we start requiring this yeah. level of personal what, what I like about you is, okay, you're, you're not to that point where the system knows everything about me, right. but you can talk to the different fields yes. in the yeah. engine with yeah. voice, so you can say, um, set this up for the day before Christmas yes. and it understands the date that I'm um, yeah, right. about. The, the multimodal thing, so we have this great natural and Unfortunately, language. Rocky's telling me we're running out of time, oh, so yeah. um, I'm going to go into audio with you guys and get more in-depth but and, and maybe get that up on, on separately, but this great. is a really cool app. It's it's really mind-blowing. It's only Android right now, right? It's only Android right now, but we'll be on iOS and Windows Phone by the end of the year. Uh, very cool. Uh, why Android first, by the way? So, it's really Real important to us. So our vision, as you said, is contextual awareness. And right now you just can't do that on iOS, right? There are people who are putting Android into their fridges. We want to be there too. We want to be in parking meters, things like that where the devices can communicate. And that's how we started Android first. Not just to be an alternative to our competitors, but to be on the platform that's open by nature. Um, and we have a developer SDK coming out soon as well. So we want people to play around with this and we really think we'll be that engine. Where do I find it? Uh, the Google Play Store. Uh, if you just search Maluba, M A L, um, M -A -L, -L right here. U -U -B -A. Well, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so and, uh, much, Rob. Thanks for joining us.